Dear friends, welcome back to Civil Conclave Presentations. Today we are going to discuss about the interview questions generally asked in the planning managers and the project managers interview. See, being a CEO, I have attended various planning managers interviews and the project manager interviews. In these interviews, nobody is going to ask you anything about concreting grade, slum ratio, etc., etc. As this is a managerial position, people's bound to ask how do you are going to manage the project. You know, and particularly in the corporate sector, I am not well aware of, it, of the small scale industries because in the small scale industries, a project manager is a man who runs the project. Whereas in the corporate sectors and the big companies, a project manager is a whole soul in charge. He is the man who is going to run the project. So, what in a planning managers, they are going to talk about everything related to the Primavera and XP, MXP, etc., etc. In my various interviews, I have come across so many questions out of which I selected certain questions which is mainly asked in various interviews. Here, let us go to the presentation. The question number one, for a planning manager, what is a constraint in a primavera? Constraint in a primavera to fix the yearly late start and finish date of an activities as per following option. This means a constraint will be how to fix a date for a start and finishing. This should be a project must finish by. The date has to be a critical area, mandatory start and mandatory finish, start and finish or after, start, finish on or before, early start and finish on. These are the important criteria in the primavera. What is the class to be referred? in FIDIC where there is entitled of extension of a time. Class number 21, 20 oblique 1, FIDIC says, if the contractor himself to be entitled to any extension of the time for completion and or additional payment under any class of these conditions or otherwise in connection with the contractor. The, sh the contractor shall has to give a notice to the engineer to describe the event or a circumstances giving rise to the client. The notice should be given as soon as practicable and not later than 28 days after the contractor becomes aware or should have behave aware of the incomes and circumstances. This means a contractor is entitled to make a client the time he noticed the circumstances wherein the extension is bound to happen, he has to submit a 28 days notice. After executing the job, he cannot claim for an extension. So before an execution, he has to explain what is under the circumstances, why he want an extension and uh, additional claim. This is written in class number 20.1. What is a reasonable range of float you assume while, while checking the look ahead work activities? The float range is varied from project to uh, one project to another project. However, in my opinion, 10% of project duration is the maximum reasonable float for any project. What is the critical path? How have you identified it? And if any activity is having a negative slack, how can you adjust the duration? Critical path is usually the activities on the longer path with a zero flat. Any delay on these activities will lead to a delay in a project duration. So critical path is the longest path of the zero flat. Any delay in these things will delay the project. Usually critical activities are shown in red color or Z zero float column. 
for reducing a duration you can adjust it by reducing the duration of changing the relationship between the activities however planning engineer should pay attention to the maximum resources while crashing the critical path that means he has to check all the resources constraint while crashing the critical path negative slack is usually result from constraint in the activities planning engineer should follow up the negative float path and find the wrong relationship or a constraint to fix it what is the difference between a planning and a scheduling engineer planning engineer can work along with the project team to develop a complete time schedule including cost of resources planning engineer can lead the team and influence his point of view whereas a scheduling engineer can only follow senior planning engineer or a project manager instruction to create the logic between the project activities but he can't develop the time schedule alone what is the difference between a recovery schedule and revised schedule recovery schedule always keeps same finish date with some corrective actions to recover the delay such a way to add more resources and break down some activities and so on revised schedule we have new finish date because of claims are adding a new scope of work that means the amendment you are working on a project and somewhere in the middle of the project the progress variances are 5 percent and still you are achieving the contractual completion date how is it possible contracting working on the critical path and delays are non-critical activities how can you define the critical path in primavera simply filter the activities with a zero float zero total float it will becomes a critical path as a planning engineer walk through a project this means as a planning manager engineer or a manager how do you explain the project where the answer should be the project you tell the project name and as a budget you tell the budget the project started on sell me tell the start date and plan to be finished with a finish date according to the last update the project is ahead or behind the schedule where we planned a plus percentage therefore forecast completion should be a z i think so you have understood what i'm trying to explain it how can differentiate total float and a free float the total float represents the number of days that can be delayed without affecting the completion of the project whereas free float determines the number of days that can be delayed without affecting the success or activity explain what a good schedule means the answer should be the schedule activities must reflect the project contract scope work dates must be with accordance to the contract meet the contractual requirements and milestone activity duration should be a reasonable activity durations must be calculated based on the quantity of work and resources available to be applied to the work activity relationship are well defined as review must be take place all relationship have to be included and are all varied and redundancies are eliminated and not open ended activities except the first and the last activities the critical path makes sense it considers procurement and material and equipment deliveries okay it must be cost and resources loaded must be accessible in a proper format complete clear and convenient specific must tell about what will be done who will do 
when they will do and what cost it require how will you make a manpower loading for your schedule manpower loading is based on company's productivity rates we calculate the required man hours for each boq items by using the formula required man hours is equal to quantity divided by productivity rate what are the involvements of a project planner and vital role in project management planning engineer directly involved in a planning management activities project leadership to make decisions concerning the development of plans and how to work process broken down the control and how it is managed track review forecast and give inputs of the status of the project furthermore planning engineer should raise the flag of the project team where he recognize the potential risk what i mean to say a planning manager has to raise a red alarm whenever the project is going to be delayed due to certain potential risk what are the methods of calculating earned value updating actual cost of activities updating the actual budgeted unit of activities updating the actual resources comparing to the budgeting one what is the difference between recovery plan and revised plan recovery plan is made with acceleration to remain within the contractual completion date but revised plans accounts for a change order which may or may not be given within contractual dates how to calculate budget man hours in order to calculate budget man hour you must have the budget quantity for each activity from that the standard man hour convert the quantity into man hours based on a organization product activities or rates the total of these man hours will be the budgeted man hours how do you start planning without any information in your hand i would prefer to say the answer like this so in the case of i haven't got any information i'll go behind and obtain the necessary materials such as scope requirements project and start and finish dates and any documents needed to produce project objective is quality and grade are something same thing no not at all there is a difference quality is the performance of the requirement grade is a matter of differential technical characteristic what are the monitoring skills ability to sort data checking the authenticity of data analyzing and predicting the data and generate the report this is called as a monitoring skills what are the best software for planning sir there is no software for planning it is only for scheduling the planning process is done only done in your head that's the brain however primavera and mxp is the best planning tool that helps to create a time schedule please remember there is no software for planning it is only used for scheduling your brain which is work the planning and accordingly the scheduling carried out what is the difference between float and a slack there is no difference between float and slack it is the two different words with the same meaning what is the best way to be a professional planning engineer understood the project management concept tools techniques practice during real projects and gets comments review from the experts continuous improvement by learning new tools that would help to increase the accuracy of decrease the time required for the task project managers interview how will you define the project my answer should be a project is a set of a task activities to undertake to create a product service or result these are a temporary in this sense 
they are not routine work like a production activities but most often one time set of activities undertaken what is your view on the project manager my view will be project management involve applying the knowledge and the skills of the project manager project team members including the project manager application of tools and technique available to ensure the different tasks are completed properly proper completion means implies achievements of end results within the given cost and time free it will it is usually means balancing of the constraint of scope budget schedule quality risk and resources what is the qualification or required to be a best effective project manager besides being a good professional manager the pm has to have the additional personal skills for being effective <coughs> it is not only essential for him to have a project management skill but should be proficient in them attitude is a core personality characteristic and leadership qualities are needed team management and leadership skills help the team to reach common objectives and goals are required. what are the knowledge areas relevant to your doing a project scope management time and cost management same goes for a quality management also to complete a project in all aspects one needs to be aware the project integration knowledge area communication is a vital issue so communication management knowledge is essential procurement and risk management are two vital support area since people get things done human resources management is also an equally important area what is a sow sow the statement of work in a detailed description of the outcomes of the project in term of the products services or results are expected from the project most detailed sow are usually given by the customer if he is the one requesting the project what does the work breakdown structure and how does it affect the work estimates of task and activities work breakdown structure defines the work activities required for a project and the sub activities of the each of the work requirement the breakdown goes to the levels where all the work required is clearly understood work need not to be broken further than that work breakdown dictionary includes additional details that help define the task time and effort estimates can be accurate when everything about the work and dependencies are known what is the critical path in the schedule of a network diagram activity scheduling done there will be activities whose start time and end times are not critical it may be possible due to dependencies to task later than the date of the schedule similarly an activity could be completed later as there is no other activity is waiting for its completion these time pads are called fours there is always path from start to finish which does not have any fours not only all the activities in the path must be carried out in a planned time but also there cannot be any delays any delays will directly reflect on a project completion time this chain of activities or the path from start to finish is known as critical what are the ways a project time schedule we can be compressed crashing and fast tracking are two methods for accelerating the project time schedule crashing method tries to optimize the schedule making use of the time floats available while keeping the cost under control fast tracking is to make selected activities faster by applying additional resources if necessary it may mean paying team members overtime paying for the time of consultant etc what is a quality control 
quality control procedures include inspection to ensure quality requirements are being met. What are the type of risk you may encounter in a project? These could be categorized as a technical, external, internal, organizational, etc. Depending on the type of projects, other categories might have also can be considered. What is a risk register? This is a register or a document that contains all the identified risks of the project. List of actions of potential actions are to be included. What are time and material contracts? In this type of a contractor, the contractor gets paid for a time used on the project and expenses for the material used and other agreed upon expenses. What is the primary purpose of procurement management plan? To determine what is actually is to be procured, ensure they are procured at the best price and it is made available at site on the right time. What does procurement administrator involve? To keep monitoring and ensure that all open procurement contracts are progressing as expected. Why does PM need a very proactive? <coughs> this is the most important questions I come across in various interviews. A PM needs to be able to see any signs of a deviation in time and cost of the project progresses at the earliest. This gives the team as much reaction time as possible to correct the situation to minimize the impact. Do you think professionalism and integrity are essential qualities of the project manager? PM is charged with managing all aspects of the project. Until unless he is a professional and has an integrity, there are many things that might go wrong. Not to be truthful progress, reporting will easily boomerang on the PM, but the organization will have a delayed or a failed project. Explain the team forming process. After the members are collected as a project, there is a turmoil before anything settled down. This is known as the forming and storming, norming, performing process. The team people go through a storming of relationship before setting out to the role of assignment. Over time, they get to use the structure of the relationship that is norming a piece. It is only after everybody has settled into the new roles that the team starts performing. Thank you for watching this presentation. Kindly subscribe, like and share which will motivate me for a further good presentation. In case of any queries, do not hesitate to write to me. The response shall be at the earliest. You can contact me at the civilconclavegmail.com or at my telegram group, Civil Conclave Telegram group. The link has been provided as below. Thank you once again for the presentation. Kindly subscribe like and share so that I can give you more presentation.